Hi everyone, I'm Nathaniel and I'm a testing commission and driver based out of Hornsey for Thames and Great Northern. Today we're here at Finchley Park and we're going to take a trip down to Moorgate so we can have a look at what ETCS Level 2 looks like on your DMI and I'll be explaining some information as we go along. Okay, so let's go on board now and we'll head down to Moorgate so we can have a look at ETCS. We are on board and heading towards Drayton Park. As you can see on your DMI, everything for now is what you are used to seeing with your Speedo and AWS Sunflower present. This is what we call driving in level NTC. As we start our approach to Drayton Park, you will notice a box has appeared in front of you on your DMI. This is preparing us for what we call transition in to ETCS level 2. We acknowledge this square by pressing it. As we pass the cab board on the right hand side of the track, your train will then transition into ETCS level 2. You have now successfully transitioned into ETCS level 2 and all the benefits of this Class A safety system are now in effect. We call this full supervision mode. You will see that your DMI looks different now. Your speedo is still present but with some added features that I'll go over briefly later. On the right hand side of the DMI is your planning area. Within this you can see a blue bar. This is called your movement authority or MA. The bottom line represents you and where your train is. Your MA is very important to you as this will tell you how far you can travel in metres and must be followed at all times. You'll also see the gradient bar which indicates the gradient for the route ahead. We'll cover this more in training. At the top of the movement authority you can see a down arrow with a zero within it. This is called an end of authority and you're not allowed to pass this. Think of this as your red signal. You must stop at an end of authority. To the left of your speedo, you might be wondering what that moving white bar is. This is a target distance bar and it is a visual aid for the driver. There are two occasions you'll see a target distance bar, for an end of authority and a speed reduction. In this case, it's counting down the meters to the end of authority. We'll see this pop up again shortly and I'll talk more on it as we approach Moorgate. You'll now see the blue bar on the right hand side of the DMI move up the screen. The signaler has sent you a movement authority which informs you how far you can go. Your movement authority has increased to just short of the 2000 meter line. This is your permission to proceed. Take care to complete any other tasks safely, such as station duties, before proceeding and always use a robust personal protection strategy before moving the train. From here, it's very much business as usual in terms of train driving. You control your train speed and station stopping pattern there's no automatic train operation along the NCL. Now, it's worth mentioning that for a short time there will be signals and ETCS level 2 operating alongside each other. This is what we call an overlay system and your movement authority on your DMI shouldn't contradict the signals you see, i.e. an MA beyond a red signal. If they do, don't move and report it to the signal immediately. We will discuss these risks in detail during your training course. On the right hand side of the DMI you can see a nice long MA of over 2000 meters and on your speedo there is a grey bar hugging the outside of the speedometer. This is called your speed hook and you must always keep your speed needle on or below the speed hook, in this case at 30 miles an hour. This is where ETCS is permanently monitoring your train so if you were to speed you will see a visual warning like here and you can also get an audible warning. If the driver took no action at all and ignored these warnings, the speed needle would turn red, followed by a more immediate audible warning. If the driver continues the speed after this, the system will take control and put the brakes on. So ETCS really does keep us safe at all times with automatic train protection. You now start your approach to Moorgate. The horizontal yellow line on the right hand side of the DMI is called your pre-indication bar. Put simply, it's a visual aid for you to warn you of an upcoming speed reduction or an end of authority. Speed reductions are identified by down arrows. Here you can see the speed reduction for 20 miles an hour, which is coming up, and above that you'll see further speed reductions as we approach Moorgate, indicated by the two other down arrows. Now remember earlier I mentioned the white bar to the left of the speedo. This is called the target distance bar and better aids the driver with accurately counting down the meters approaching a speed reduction or an end of authority. In this case it is for our PSR of 20 miles an hour followed closely by the PSR of 10 miles an hour as you enter Moorgate. 
You can also see the speed hook change colour as it gives you a visual for what speed it wants you to achieve and by when. As you approach speed restrictions and end authorities, you will see the speed hook reducing. This is the maximum speed the system will let you drive to. If you control your train and keep the speed needle below the speed hook, no intervention will occur. You are now approaching platform 10 at Moorgate. We can see the speed hook on the speedo providing us a maximum speed of 10 miles an hour. On the right hand side of the GMI you can see the pre-indication bar again providing a visual warning for upcoming speed reductions and end of authorities. Finally you will see the target distance bar pop up one final time to the left of the speedo. This helps you identify your distances more accurately as you approach your end of authority at the end of platform 10. So we've arrived at Moorgate. We hope you found that useful. If you've got any questions about ETCS, you can email the team on the email address on your screen now, or you can jump on the SharePoint app where there's resources and videos. We hope you enjoyed that, and we look forward to seeing you in your course.